Welcome to the evening episode of Toothy Trivia. I'm your host, Emma, and I hope you had an awesome day. Go ahead and get your toothbrush ready. Now it's time to make brushing your teeth for two minutes fun and easy. Are you ready? Let's go! Today's trivia theme is books. 17 of the top 100 Kindle books in 2012 were self-published. This number gets higher each year. It is predicted that within three years, 75% of books will be sold online and only 25% in brick and mortal bookstores. The first printed books didn't have the name of the author or even the title printed on the covers. The covers were artworks itself, covered in drawings, leather, or even gold. Books used to be chained to shelves in libraries in order to prevent stealing. The first book that was written using the typewriter was The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. The real Alice in Wonderland was named Alice Lindell. Her family was friends with the author, and he pinned the story for her when she was 10. Alice in Wonderland also used to be banned in parts of China. Bears, lions, and other beasts cannot use a human language, said General Ho Chi in 1931. To attribute to them such a power is an insult to the human race. Former American President Theodore Roosevelt read an average of one book per day. The oldest cookbook in the world, a clay Babylonian tablet, dates back to 1750 BC and contains the oldest known cooking recipes. The first book described as a bestseller was Fools of Nature by U.S. writer Alice Brown in 1889. The record for most people balancing books on their heads at the same time and place is 998 in Sydney, Australia in 2012. Other names considered for Nancy Drew included Diana Dare, Stella Strong, Helen Hale, and Nan Nelson. How did Curious George get to America? He was captured in Africa by the man with the yellow hat with his yellow hat. Dr. Seuss said he expected to spend a week or so writing the cat in the hat. It ended up taking a year and a half. And you're done. Weren't those two minutes easy? If you like these episodes, be sure to tell your parents and dentists to subscribe to Toothy Trivia on iTunes, Google Play, or Stitcher. We can also be found as Toothy Trivia on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.